Hi everyone, I wanted to in this video show you how you can log meetings with clients or colleagues uh, in your Rome Research Daily Notes pages uh, in such a way that all the information that you take there will be at your fingertips exactly when you need it. Taking great notes in sessions with clients and with colleagues makes you a lot more valuable to them and it makes you a lot more valuable to yourself too. I like to think of this little method as sort of a the interactions uh, segment of your CRM only way better. Any CRM I've ever used, it's always been clunky as heck to get information into uh, the C uh, the um, interactions section in any way that's useful, like it can actually track uh, relevant topics of conversation and things like that. In Rome, it's a breeze. It's low friction in, low friction out. Uh, and, and if you use this method, it's it's particularly simple, I think. So here's how this will work. Uh, just one quick thing before I, I dive all the way in. I want to talk about what fundamental room features are involved because I think it's critical when you are looking and learning how to use Rome's power within your own workflow, discovering what it what its power has for you to understand how the features interact uh, and how the features can uh, can uh, you know make each other more powerful. So in here we're using the daily notes page, which is the one that comes up uh, when you, uh, you open Rome. Uh, pages as tags, which is a fairly straightforward one. You can see them right here. These are pages that I'm using as tags on this daily note page. Um, indenting wisely. Indenting is such a basic feature of Rome that it's easy to overlook. But if you don't do it well, uh, your queries won't work, your linked references won't work, uh, your um, mentions won't work. Mentions are basically portable linked references. And so uh, it's not, and I guess I, it's not that they won't work, but they won't work nearly as well. Uh, if you indent with thought behind why you're indenting, uh, it makes that stuff way, way, way more powerful. Uh, then it's also going to use the linked references, and it's going to demonstrate how filters uh, can help you within those linked references. And all of those power, all of those features come together uh, to power what this note logging and, and uh, client and uh, colleague meeting uh, notes can be uh, for you and how that can become uh, especially powerful. So if I am going to log a client meeting, and just for the record, I'm in my actual Rome graph here, not my demo one. I usually use the demo one. But uh, I, I, there, I didn't want to have to populate it with all of the background to show you how this works. So let's say I have a meeting with one of my coaching clients. I'm going to use Jay Handley. Jay owns a gym here in Morgantown, Viking Performance Training. And really, Jim undersells it. It's really a training center. Um, uh, and they do amazing work with young athletes. Uh, anyone, but especially young athletes. And let's say I had a, a coaching session with Jay here today at uh, 10 a.m. So I would note the time, and people ask me, well, why do you put brackets around the time? And the answer is, I don't know. I might have that information uh, be useful someday. Maybe I'll need to query what I've done over the years at 10 a.m. I don't know that I'll ever need to know that, but I figure if I might happen to know it, might as well have it tagged. As a general rule, more tags are better than fewer. Um, not always, but 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 I, I live by the, the general rule of that. So, uh, you know, underneath this, that's going to be my top level block. That's going to have the basic information under which everything else is going to live. Depending on what we're doing in the meeting, I might just start taking notes and have him living in sibling blocks here. Maybe we could talk about, you know, uh, payment systems. Um, and then later on in the meeting, we talk about, um, you know, member retention um, or something like that. And uh, as we go along, I, I would take notes embedded under these, or indented under these, rather, um, as, as we go and what we did. Now, here's the, the interesting power of it. If I make these their own tags here, and we do this like this, this means that uh, now, uh, later on, I'll be able to use those as filters as well within uh, this system. So I'll show you how that works here. Uh, we're going to go over to Jay's page. And what you'll find over on Jay's page is that I keep his contact information, essentially the information that is essential to Jay, things that are not going to be shared anywhere else, I keep here. So, you know, he's the, he owns Viking Performance, like I said, you know, what he, how we communicate and, you know, where I met him and that kind of stuff. Luke is a, is a great uh, marketing guy here in town. Um, and uh, Jay, uh, you know, his main page here has on it this information, and then it also has all this past information that has been come in here 
via these linked references. Now, just so you know, I've already filtered this to the coachings. There are other things that I could filter by, but just I'm not interested in sharing any of his personal information on here uh, in this. So I didn't want to, you know, I already have it pre-filtered for that. But I could go back through and I can look at every single coaching session that we've had. And I could look at all the notes from it. I'm not going to click it open here just because I, I don't want to reveal any of his uh, personal information. Obviously, he's a coaching client. But um, everything, every note that we take is inside all of that. So, uh, and what I do when I'm prepping for a session is I simply open in the sidebar. You can right click on the bullet there and open the sidebar, the previous session, and I would open it up. And then I would, uh, you know, take some notes in preparation for the session. And I even leave it open over there uh, during the, the meeting, just in case there's anything that, uh, you know, comes up that I didn't uh, take notes on in advance. That way I have that there to refer to. That's really powerful. Uh, what I think is really cool, though, though, uh, though, though, I don't know what that was, uh, is that uh, I can then also use this tool to filter by, um, say, for instance, I wanted to filter by how many times we've talked about payment systems. And we've talked about it a few times, but I only tagged it this once um, as an illustration. So I can hop into here and it'll show our current meeting and it'll show every time we've ever talked about payment systems. Um, I could also filter by, you know, the member retention. And with doing it, it would show us every time we've ever talked about member retention and exactly what we said about it. Um, and the cool part is I could also say that I talk about payment systems with several clients. I could go to the payment systems page and filter by clients and see what, you know, things are going over there, filter by uh, the different types of meanings that we uh, have those conversations in. So uh, one other little note before I leave this, uh, going back to the main page here where I took the note. If we had a, a meeting and the entire thing was about payment systems or member retention for some reason, that could live up here on the main uh, the main uh, log for the page. Just because our general rule with this kind of tag is uh, the broader the topic, the higher up in the indent it is. Um, now, if I were to take a note here and I would say payment systems in this level, and it wasn't on the top level, and I would then take a note underneath this um, talked about money, which is a stupid note, but you get the idea. When I filter by payment systems within uh, Jay's page here, I'm not going to be able to see that um, note that I took because it was in a sibling block, uh, a neighbor block there, rather than indented underneath it. So if you want to use this indenting well, like I talked about, you have to make sure that you're indenting underneath uh, these tags and topics that you want to be able to use to filter through your information. Uh, so this is kind of a quick and dirty approach to this, uh, but I, I, I thought it might be useful for some people to uh, work into their toolbox and to figure out how it works for you. Uh, and, and just with that little note in mind, I am creating a course called Your Road to Rome, which I happen to mention here because all of this stuff is living on that page as I'm developing this. The concept of Your Road to Rome is it introduces the fundamental features of Rome and how they can interact, but there's also a coaching component so that you can recognize opportunities in your own life and in your own workflow for how those features can come together and make a difference for you. So part training, part coaching, um, releasing at end of October, beginning of November in that general area, uh, depending on when I have it ready. If you'd like to get an email to uh, find out when that'll happen, uh, I put the link down in the description. Uh, also, you can just go to your road to Rome dot com and that'll that'll um, redirect you over to the to the course page sign up page um, note that it's Rome as in Rome research am not me and uh, and that will uh, you know give you an opportunity to discover how these kinds of tools can work within your own workflow that's really where I where where I want to help folks with Rome research is taking these the amazing power and the amazing versatility that Rome has and being able to turn that into something that's useful for you. Um, it can be, it's, it's enormously powerful. Sometimes though power and versatility can make us freeze up. We see it, we don't know exactly what to do, and so we don't, we don't leverage that in the best way we can. I wanna help people uh, see how those features can work within what they're doing and help them discover how to uh, how to 
upgrade that that work that they're doing in their workflow uh, to be something that Rome can really be an integral part of and really make a huge difference in. So that's sort of what the course is about. But hopefully this will be a useful tool for you, logging notes uh, on the page there. Um, if you have any thoughts about it, you can uh, certainly uh, uh, mention in the comments if there's anything that uh, you would add to this concept. Obviously, I'm doing the bare bones of it here. Uh, to keep the video from being that's already 10 minutes so keep it from being 20 minutes um, but hopefully this will be helpful for you and I, and uh, and it'll be something that you can make use of in your own work